Lesson 9.5, inscribed angles. So we've done central angles. What is a central angle? It's an angle that starts in the center and goes out and intercepts an arc. That's the expression we use. It intercepts arc. Arc AB. So what's an inscribed angle? Starts on the edge, goes all the way across. So we would say angle DCE intercepts arc DE intercepts cuts it off. So what's the measure of the angles? How do we figure it out? Well, up here we had, uh, say, 40 degrees. Then the measure of arc AB is 40 degrees. Here if we have, let's call it 20 degrees. Let's change up colors. Twenty degrees, then the measure of arc DE is forty degrees. So it's half. And that's what this says. The measure of the angle is half the intercepted arc. So again, just to give an example, this is one hundred and twenty degrees. Doesn't look like it, but whatever. This would be 60 degrees. That's not too bad. Of course, it gets worse. There's a corollary. It's a little hard to see. A lot of things in the circle unit are challenging to see. There. It intercepted this arc from A to B. Let's call this C. If I put one over here, and it intercepts the same arc. Let's get some colors going. We would be able to say that the measure of angle ACB equals measure of angle ADB. Because they're both inscribed angles. And they both intercept the same arc. So they have to be equal in measure. Yet another thing to start looking for when you do problems in the circle unit. Now, give me a diameter. draw a semicircle. How many degrees is this? 180. Therefore, I'll call it angle 1. Has to be 90 degrees. It's half 180. So it's a right angle. I will do a demonstration with this in class with our Sketchpad program. And briefly hinted on this recently. Put your quadrilateral in here. Not parallelogram, quadrilateral. I'll purposely make an ugly one. And say this is 100 degrees. No, it's not even close to 100 degrees. Let's say it's uh, 70 degrees. This would be 110 degrees. The two are going to be supplementary. Why? Because they have to be. This is 
cut off by 110. This is cut off by 70. Therefore, this side is 220, and this side is 140. And 220 and 140 equal 360. They have to. It's a whole circle. Whole circle is 360 degrees. So quadrilateral inscribed is the two opposite angles are going to be supplementary. Starting to feel overwhelmed? That's okay. It's a lot of material. Practice makes perfect. Try some examples. I'm going to do them in a second, so I would pause the recording if I were you. And here I go. X is double that, so it's 160. Y equals Z because of the chords. So 360 minus 160, 200, 200 over 2, z equals 100 degrees, y equals 100 degrees, 100, 200, 360, double that, looks good. On this side, x equals 30 degrees, y is in a uh, central angle, so y equals 60 degrees, and z could be written here too. So we got to add them all up and get 360. Well, 360 minus 60 equals 300. 300 over 2, 150. Z equals 150 degrees. So the actual knowledge isn't too hard. Doing the problems may or may not be challenging depending on how hard I want to make them. But you have to look for these little things like congruent tick marks. You have to remember the difference between central and inscribed angles. It's a lot. So finally, get to one more. And this one really is challenging in just seeing it. When I reviewed my notes, I thought, hang on, I got to think about this one hard. Get a tangent. You know it's at a 90 degree angle has nothing to do with what we're going to do. This is just a tangent. Draw yourself any kind of secant. Cuts all the way through. It chops off a piece of arc. So let's give it some labels. A, B, O. So arc A, B equals 140 degrees. Angle ABC will equal 70 degrees. So this is 140 degrees. This is 70 degrees. That's tricky. That's tricky. That takes some time to see. Uh, I don't like messing with these problems too much because they are so difficult to see. But just so we're clear, the theorem says the measure of an angle with a chord and a tangent, I wrote a secant that went all the way through, but you can call it a chord if you want, is half the measure of the arc. So find the arc, the angle's half. And this is a theorem so we could prove it. It basically ties in with all the work we've done so far. So if you want to do this without me, go ahead and pause it. And now I'm going to do it. So we know that 82 and X are opposite sides of a quadrilateral. So X plus 82 equals 180. X equals 98. And now we have this whole arc here has to equal two times that. So it equals 164. So this arc and this arc have to equal the same thing. So 360 minus 164 equals 196. 
196 over 2 equals 98. Isn't that interesting? It's the same thing as this, which makes sense. Because this arc should be 196 based on that information. So I kind of did this problem the long way. That's okay. Um, so if this arc is 98, Z is half of that. So we just say Z equals 49 degrees. Y equals 49 degrees. At this time, don't do any more problems. We'll be working on this in class together. But it's good to get an introduction because this is complicated stuff. That's it. Good luck.